morning ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel, going for a double camera angle for this this little clip this morning, just trying to see what it's like so I can sync the two videos together, hopefully the audio is alright, I'm, I'm going to use the main camera audio and try and sync up the visuals from the GoPro as well, which is just to the side, obviously the camera's just there. Anyway, after this little experiment, you might not see this clip, you might see the clip, you might not, who knows, but I'm now back fighting fit after a few days of the flu. I had a free farm last Thursday until Saturday, but it wasn't too bad. I've had a nice weekend of relaxing. Saturday went out for lunch with Kelly's family. Had a huge burger, chips, onion rings. Then for dinner we got takeaway pizza with again more chips. We had a lot of food and then Saturday, Sunday morning, first time in a very long time. We had pizza for breakfast, or some leftover pizza for breakfast. It was actually tasted nicer in the morning than it did in the evening. We sort of cooked again in the oven, added a bit of chilli flakes, lies, frig off. And then we had lunch with my family, had a nice barbecue slash roast in the garden, so that was very nice. And then some Dougal's donuts, picture on screen of those. But a good weekend of food, went for a 10 run on Saturday, didn't feel too bad after that. And surprisingly, I think after all the food on Saturday, just my body felt recorded on Sunday, normally I feel absolutely battered and beaten up, but I didn't. And I still don't today, so that is good signs I was recovering well but today's Monday which means heavy legs and sprints well not sprints but interval work so I'm gonna get into that going to sat work and have my breakfast the usual breakfast and of course cannonball coffee you just see me sip on and I'm gonna as the title suggests maybe switch over to sumo deadlifts but we'll talk more about that in training and just like that uh, And that is squat stone. Time to move on to the billiards. So I set one of the sumos done. Obviously, because I've done it for a while, I'm a bit sort of detrained movement, so it was a bit what with the bar path, but still felt pretty solid. There's a few reasons why I've switched, or I'm thinking about switching over, is obviously firstly it's a lot easier on my lower back and hamstrings as they don't get as taxed as much as coming to the lifts, allowing them to be fresher for my runs, or slightly fresher for the runs so I can focus on pushing that more. Secondly, I think I am just built better for sumo, sumo deadlifts. Shorter arms, shorter legs, just everything's all compact and conventional, which doesn't feel quite right, especially with what this SPD belt on. I just feel like I can't get in the right position. Or well, I could just show that I'm quad dominant and need to work on my heart posterior chain a lot more, but that's a topic for another day. And number three, contrary to popular belief, you can't deadlift however you want. There is no right or wrong way. So people will say, oh, but sumo is cheating, no, no, no. If you live more sumo, you live more sumo, you live more conventional, you live more conventional. You don't have to conform to society's beliefs that one deadlift is superior than the other. You do you, boo. Unless obviously there's a specific challenge or competition needed for one lift or the other. Do that, but I'm just gonna have a play with conventional for today. And see how it goes, might be back next week. Might stick conventional, see how I recover this week. 
and we'll take it from there. Also, because I am an idiot, I can't read properly. This should have been sets of five last week, not six. So I'm doing regular four sets of five. Still at a slightly heavier weight than last week, so 157.5 for four sets of five. Here we are, fourth and final set. Let's see if you're any better than me first. It's feeling slightly better. Again, just find the groove again. And I'm realizing my stance is actually a little bit narrower than my previous sumo because that hip issue is still not quite right, but it's still just not reached that range yet. But I'm working on it for a few weeks and trying to get back to where I was pre hip injury. Feels worse with my thumbs than conventional, or oh, almost ripping the cows on my thumbs there. But so we're done. Time to do really a little bit of Time for the walking lunges. My chair, I know you've seen them multiple weeks already. I may just get straight to running where I may take the GoPro. So I'll see you on the streets. And we are rested, changed, sugared up, and ready to run again. Now, I'm probably going to do similar to last week, four minute intervals. But I'm trying to decide whether I go out with the drone for one of the runs, or I'll take the GoPro and set it up. Either way, you're about to see what I decide to do. But it is currently well, inside the gym, it's 22 degrees, and it's meant to go up to 27 degrees today. And it's currently midday. I've just gone almost one o'clock so it's gonna be pretty warm outside so I may not push the intensity too much and also I'm pretty bunged up so running is gonna to be tough anyway but just gonna take it easy and hope for the best really hopefully you can hear me all right and so I go for the safe option I go for the GoPro but I have misplaced my microphone cover so maybe a bit of wind hopefully you're not picking that up too much but I decided to pick out a stretch of road to just do the forward meet intervals rather than run for the minute I'm just going to completely rest well sort of pace a bit just to keep the legs fresh because my issue is the sort of stop start with running so I'm running and then stop and try and go again my legs just seize up and go sort of solid to a rock hard so that's the plan for today's intervals and we'll see how it goes probably do another six or eight intervals and then call it there it depends how hard to get because as you can see clear blue sky sun is out and it is warm. But before I get started, I thought I would mention that I'm using the an app called Runkeeper. Again, if you can see it there in the bottom right, bottom left even. So that's what I'm using because it seems to be able to track interval distances because I'm yet to get a Garmin or any sort of watch that can actually track distance. I've noticed that it's quite different between my Strava speed and time and my Fitbit speed and time. So let me in the comments what you'd rather track. Okay, let's get into these runs. I'm just procrastinating to start them. So that's your problem time. You guys, training done for the day. I actually thought I got more clips of running than that, but I was the road was very busy because obviously lunchtime and there was lots of lorries and truckers on the roads, lorry drivers, I didn't didn't want to risk it, the camera being taken or run, run over by a lorry getting knocked and blown into the road because it's quite windy but these intervals again I'll put the splits on screen I have no idea how to read those times but on my watch I was managing to keep a sort of 410 420 per kilometer pace on the 40 minute intervals which knowing me I am pleased with especially being post heavy squats and deadlifts so that's pretty interesting to learn or train enough for that to be my kilometer time so for me to keep that pace for uh, twice that distance and then some which I think is doable in the next 10 or so weeks I think that was 8 intervals I'll have to quickly double check actually no it was 7 intervals so I actually missed one out which is annoying but it is what it is it's, I think it's still one more than last week last week I think it's 6 so again still that progression progressive overload a bit more volume than last week 
but now it's time to head home. I have already had half of this, so I'm gonna have another full one of just cold water. Thankfully, the gym's got a nice water cooler, and it's home for lunch. Probably gonna definitely finish this before I get home, and then it's time for some lunch. I have no idea I'm gonna have, but hopefully something nice and cool. Because I can't bother eating in this in this heat. Maybe just make a smoothie or something. Have lunch and yes there's a full fat planter and I'm leaving the sugar and calories today because I don't want to eat too much food because I will just overheat but basic lunch or usual lunch eggs sandwich with some pop chips and of course the crumpets have made a return crumpets and jam I did consider doing this little clip topless but you're not ready for a to see this physique but I'm not too confident in it to show you guys but I've, I've also been considering doing a sort of physique update if you like and talking about that and how I see my body should look like for what I do and that's a topic for another video I also think I made up my mind with in regards to deadlifts I think I'm going to switch back to conventional that's what I'm used to at the minute and there's no point trying to learn sumo while training for high rocks I'll just save that for sort of when the competition season is over if that makes sense sort of save it for, for them when I've got a bit more time to play about whereas my body is just getting used to conventional so why try and learn something new. But I'm going to wrap this video up here because I'm back to work very soon so I'm going to enjoy this lunch. Make the most of this so much I thought was going away last week considering the the weather and the downpours and all that but looks like it's here for another week which is good. I'm going to try and get a tan and keep hold of it. But anyway if you enjoyed this video hit the like button if you are new, smash the subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that jazz. Just make sure to watch the video. As always I will catch you in the next one. Peace.